Hey, what to do, y'all? Let's get into it. We ain't finna waste no time. Yeah, I see we got Amber Rose just posted a video. Her and DDG and her, uh, I think her friends or somebody, I don't know. But Amber Rose and DDG tried. Beria, be, yeah, for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, y'all hit that like button. Y'all subscribe if y'all new. What? Oh, it's not signed in. I'm like, what? Why well, make it make sense? I was just watching it on the TV. See, I'm already subbed. I already liked the button. I did it on the TV. I'm like, make it make sense. Like, it gotta make sense now. Like, that don't make sense. I was just watching it. Something with this browser, though. What's this browser? This edge? It keeps signing me out every time. It's all good, though. And it's not the settings. I already checked the settings. I checked the cookies and all that other stuff. It's just, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got six different web browsers. It's the only one that want to sign me out. Anyways, it doesn't matter, right? It's beside the point. We ain't come for that, right? All right, Amber Rose. Nice cut. <laughs> what that say on the top of your head? Yo, I don't be looking at nobody, bro. I don't know no famous people. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I be going to the mall, like when I go to Linux or when I go to um, Saks Fifth and stuff like that. I be seeing people, but I don't know who nobody is. I remember one day I walked past, straight past uh, Stevie J and then everybody was running. Or some people just walk in like, yo, that's Stevie J. I just hear people whispering. I'm looking around like, Stevie J. I look back, I was like, oh, that is Stevie J. <laughs> it's like, and I'm so tall, so it's just like, uh, it's like, okay. It's like, okay. I really don't be knowing who people is. Like, I be walking my homies and stuff. They be like, yo, yo, that's that. That's so and so. I be like, is it? <laughs> is it really? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, but uh, let's get into it though. So we got Amber Rose and we got DDG. And again, they trying Beria. Beria, because it's uh, no, it's not E, no, so it's Beria. Yeah, it's Beria, because there's no E at the end. Okay, Beria for the first time. All right, let's get it. Tell us how y'all like it. Hey, nice, uh, nice hoodie. That's far. You ain't hot. You got a hoodie on. You got a hoodie on. She the only one the sleeves are. Okay, okay. I wonder when they, uh, what the sound of? Oh, mute. Number four, I went. I wonder when they shot this. Yeah. I'm with my friend Brandon, and of course, Uncle Joey is here. Okay. And we're about to go in. So we got Brandon, we got Joseph. So, Uncle, so that's your brother? <laughs> that's your brother? Okay, okay, okay. And then we got Brandon. That's his, must be his homie. His friend or something, something like that. All right, all right. So we have on the menu. Everyone says... Cause you said uncle, so I'm thinking like, all right, that gotta be... Although I am allergic to cilantro, we're gonna try it out. Put us on some new food, Amber. Put us on some new food, Amber. Put us on some new food, Amber. You did. Even though I don't like people cooking for me. Uh-uh. Ain't nobody cooking for me. Uh-uh. It's only me and God in the kitchen. That's it. Get out. <laughs> for real. No, I don't trust you. Mm -mm. Nah, I'm just playing. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I might. I might allow people to cook for me sometimes. Once or twice a year on a holiday. <laughs> Other than that, oh no. I'm so skeptical. I just eat the air. <laughs> and the sun. <laughs> Gazer, gazer. <laughs> Y'all know what's going on. That make me want to change my shirt. I feel, I feel like there's beans in here. I'm, I'm telling you right now, bro, you're going to have to cut that heat off because you tweet. Dude, take that fucking hot ass hoodie off. Uh, so she got the heat on. She got no clothes on, got the heat on. They got hoodies on. <laughs> look, look how he's looking at her. <laughs> I love it. She like, dude, take that hoodie off. It's summertime. You got a hoodie on. He's like, nah, you got to squirt the heat off. Uh-uh. It's hot. I'm finna sweat. I'm already, my underarm's already gone. I know, I know how you feel, bro. I know how she feel, too. You got to think about it. She a woman, man. She trying to, she trying, hey. She trying to look good, feel good, and everything. And when you look good, and you, when you look good, you always feel good. You feel me? Okay. Oh, bro, take that mini skirt off, bro. <laughs> Wait, stay here, right? Ooh. Skeleton. I love it. <laughs> I love skeletons. I ain't gonna lie. I like the one that Shay got, though. That black. That black one is just crazy. I don't even know if he's still got I ain't never seen him wear it no more. That black skeleton is crazy. That's something I always wanted. So if I ever get that, y'all, you already know I'm gonna wear it every day. Until all the diamonds fall out. <laughs> I'm wearing a shirt in the shower and all. 
I better be able to wear it in the shower. You feel me? <laughs> Hi, 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 my dog. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. Stop doing that. Now you got my kids. Like, you ain't supposed to do it, dude. You supposed to let the girls do that, not the. Okay. Saying that. No, you don't say that. He go, oh, y'all. Yeah, he be like, oh. Oh. It's good. So super it do look good. I'm saying. First time I came here, Tia took me. Tia and Tamara. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What? Really? What? What they do? What they doing? How they doing? Tia took you? That's fire. It did look good, y'all. That's why I had to turn the video on. Tia took you? My bad, my bad, my bad. Keep the video going, my bad. <laughs> I just spoke to her about you that day. Huh? No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> fucking name dropper. He's a fucking name dropper. He's like Tia and Tamara. I, I swear to God, I was just doing it. Like, calm down. <laughs> um, so, uh, go ahead. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about me. What happened? <laughs> Dude, what you got? I got chicken taco period. Beerious, guys. Beerious thing. How you say it? He said he got chicken beerious. It's right? I think so. Bidia. Oh. Bidia. You gotta put the little accent on there. You gotta. You got some Spanish class? Yeah. You gotta speak Spanish? I speak Spanish girls. Well, you gotta buy me one. They know that it is. Okay, okay. I swear he Beyonce. <laughs> he swear he Beyonce. He's the Texan. Okay, okay. I can see. I can see how she. Okay, Houston, Texas. There's a lot of good energy, and they all thick in Texas. So I can, I can, I can, I can see how that she got that Beyonce energy. That Texan. They got horses out there. Ooh, I can see. I can. I can see that Beyonce out there. Okay. I might need to go to Texas. Now. I need me a Beyonce. I need me a Beyonce. You did. I'm in Atlanta. There ain't, ain't too many Beyonce's in Atlanta. <laughs> I can find a sexy red easily. I can go down the street and find a sexy red. Matter of fact, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I need a Beyonce, though. He's in Houston, Texas. I'm like, yeah, man. Because I can go to New York and find a Cardi easy. I know that for sure. I can find a Cardi in New York for sure. A Nikki and a Cardi in New York for sure. Amber Rose. I can find Amber Rose in Cali. Hey, that's so crazy. When you really mentally think about it, it's because they got certain type of personalities. Anyways, back to the video. My bad. So I'll be in the zone, y'all. Like, do you feel like, did it like hit you yet? Or you're still yeah, said, this is what. This is the main reason why I want to, uh, between the food and be, her questions, she has some good questions. <laughs> Well, I wanted to watch the video on screen. So how does it feel to be a new dad? Like, do you feel like, did it like hit you yet? Or you're still like kind of shocked? No, I ain't shocked at all. I don't know. It's all right. He always wanted to be a dad. Well, like, I don't know. It's like, it's, it's like meant to be. Yeah. Not to be a cliche or that. Like, <clears throat> but it just feel like I was supposed to be a dad type shit. It's my first baby to talk about. What is this? Be video? 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 Video, yeah. That's stupid. This sauce is like really, it's pretty hot. I think to the average person it would be hot. Is it, is it pretty good? I like that spice. You like spice? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Do you? I do. I do too. Did you need them or did, did you just chop? I was gonna say we can see it from here. Trust me on that. We know what real teeth and what veneers look like. We can see it from here. <laughs> Trust me. Even if you got your teeth white, we can tell if they real or they veneers. It's just they so big. <laughs> real teeth not that big. That's how we always know. And it make your mouth a little bit more wider. It just get, it makes your it makes your smile full. I, I can't lie. It makes your smile full if you ain't already got a full mouth, a full smile. But I can always tell when people got veneers. I can always tell. They scare me. I ain't gonna lie. Veneers scare me. Not literally. I don't, I don't care. But it's just like... <laughs> Every time I see them, I'll be like... That's all. Hey, when somebody talking with veneers, all I can do is look at their teeth. 
No, how much that cost? <laughs> like, start asking questions. Like, does your mind just start this questions popping in? Like, when did it hurt? Like, you just, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want it or nothing. I got all straight teeth. You feel me? Thanks to my mama, right? Thanks to God and my daddy, right? But uh, I still be having my, own, my own little questions. I ain't gonna lie. I be having my own little questions. Um, did I need them? Probably. Oh. Mm -mm. My teeth look just like this. I'm not gonna lie. I always took care of my teeth. But I think that, um, you were just sending me pictures last night in my DM how gorgeous I was when I was a teenager. So, yeah, fuck off. Yeah, do with your mouth. But, um, my teeth were just very thin. Like I think it was like, gen like a brand of my family or something. Just like thin. See, that's what I was saying. That's what I was just saying. Cause real, te it doesn't run in your family. Real teeth are just smaller. That's just what it is. Real teeth are smaller. Don't get me wrong. Some people got big chompers, but just in general, if you're not a certain size, a certain height, your head ain't a certain size, your hands not a certain size, you're not over six feet. Of course, your teeth gonna be a little bit smaller. You're a girl. You ain't supposed to have any big old chompers. <laughs> You know what I mean? You ain't no vampire. Maybe you are. In TV show. And I was just like, yeah, Dr. Sands, I need you to, um, you know what I mean? Yeah, like this tip right here, it's a, it's a temporary, you know how you get a temporary? Yeah, yeah. This right here is a temporary. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a whole diamond, though. Oh, so this before the diamond. That's what I was wondering. Was this before? So this was before he went to Atlanta and all that other stuff. Okay. Fire. <laughs> What's the most uh what's the most expensive thing y'all ever bought before Ooh, good question. Oh shit. That's a good question. Like when you eat your first meal or whatever, you just went crazy. I'm pretty cheap. I'm not gonna lie. That's why we're eating burritos right now. Mine's <laughs> my house. How much it cost? I was thinking the house. I was thinking DG house, yep. Most likely. That no, that one point six. That what? Twenty five? Twenty five? Twenty four? Twenty one. 22. Fire. Really cost the most. 22? Wow. And then with all the renovations and all of that. Amazing, bro. Amazing, bro. I'm 31. I ain't got my own house. I'm just going to be honest. So that's amazing, bro. It was uh, renovating because I, I renovated the entire house. It was an older crib. Yeah. But it was a yeah. uh, nice neighborhood. Five bedrooms type shit. It was like, it made more sense for me to get that. And it's out the way. How much is it worth now? Two point. I'm about to say three. Three, four, some shit like that. Yeah, bro. You got that basketball court. And you got a lot. Yeah. Yeah, if you yeah, and if you say the house come furnished, you well, you don't want to take none of your furniture, put it up to almost about three to four. Yeah, three to four million for sure. I just know I made my first my first million uh -huh. in two thousand eleven. Eleven? That's when I graduated high school. <laughs> That's back when uh, black and yellow and all that stuff was out, right? I was at middle school. I don't remember. I don't. We ain't gonna go too far back, y'all. But uh, for real, 2011. How she made her first meal? How old was you? Wow. Spent that shit. For real, what you spent it on? Who the fuck knows? <laughs> I spent it on whatever. <clears throat> Staying at the Fountain Blue. Uh -huh. Getting bottles, clothes, traveling. Uh -huh. But you don't regret it, do you? No, I'll definitely have fun. Uh -huh. But I think I I didn't think that I. Like, I didn't think about the taxes that I had to pay mm -hmm. after I spent all that money. So then I got a business manager, and they're like, yeah, you owe the government, like, $250,000. And I was like... So then I was, like, kind of in the hole because I had to get on a payment plan. Mm -hmm. And then I finally paid it all back and made money after that. But, I mean, it was fun, but then it sucked after. And where's your first main source of income? Like, one of my first, like, biggest deals. Yeah. So I don't know if you know, but I started out as a board model in New York, and um, and cool. then I became famous, like from a famous relationship after that. But um, I was first and foremost a model. So the first big big deal that I got was with Smirnoff. Yeah, she was the face of Smirnoff. Yeah, I was the face of Smirnoff. So it was like Smirnoff ice busted down. 
Yeah, it was it was um the whipped cream flavor and the marshmallow flavor. But I was on the side of every bus, every cab, every bus stop, every side of the building. I still got pictures. I was like all over New York, LA, like big major I believe you. Light skin blonde hair, of course they're gonna put you on everything. You're almost close to being white. <laughs> you feel me? They gonna put my black ass on there. <laughs> right? Right? They not finna put a Summer Walker scissor on there. You know, that, that, that. They gonna put Summer Walker on there like that. You feel me? Like, you just gotta know when you know, you know. Right? It's favoritism in the game, bro. That's just being honest, bro. It's just like when y'all go out and y'all looking for a girl, most of the time y'all go for the light skins before the dark skins. It's just it what it is. It just it what it is. It ain't nothing better. I ain't saying one is better than the other. It just it's just the, the mental state. We doing marketing and promotion. We gonna put the light skinned chick on there, of course. And then the dark skinned chick, she gonna be on the second page. Ain't nothing wrong with that though. It's just it's just knowing that that's what's gonna help the brand sell and elevate. It just say what it is. Right? Your cities. So that was like my biggest campaign. Yeah, That's pretty cool. Nah. <laughs> yeah. I drove, that was the first thing I ever drank in my life. I turned 21. I went straight to the store and drank a four loco. I was walking and drinking at the same time. And I, I came back. I drank the whole thing on the walk back. I never drank alcohol ever before. And I drank the whole thing on the walk back. I was pissed off, mad about something. And yeah, when I got back, I was just loopy. I was just talking crazy out the mouth, and then I started throwing up. I was, like, I just want to go to sleep. I just want to go home. I, just, I just want to. Like, I just was asking for anything and everything. I just didn't know what was going on. Yeah, it was, I was out of my mind that day. People, people talk about that. I, that's I'm, not, I'm from Philly. They, they wasn't really drinking that. They, uh, out there. Uh, three hours. And it joins like one beer and college wood. Yeah, it's really a bad city. You said African. I had the whole, I had the whole can, the whole tall bottle. I drank the whole entire thing. As soon as I got to that, it was like you drunk the whole for a loco. I was like, yeah. They was like, oh. I was like, what happened? And then it just, it just hit me. I was like, oh, I was just talking crazy. I was trying to do crazy stuff with the women and all of this. This is all different kind of stuff. I'm mean, not hanging a lot, y'all. I was on the floor throwing it up. Just had my head over the toilet like the girl. She kept trying to stick her finger in my throat, so to make me throw up. She was like, "Hold on!" Like she was sticking back. I'm like, like, "Stop! No, no more!" She like, "We gotta get it out." I'm like, "No, no more!" She like, "One more!" I'm like, "No more!" She like, "One more!" I'm like, "You just said one more!" She she helped me though. I ain't gonna lie, but she she drunk a lot. Like she she knew what drinking was about, right? She knew what smoking was about. She you know what I'm saying? So she was she was there for me. I ain't gonna lie. It was pretty cool. Pretty good time too. I was there with her family and stuff like that. You know, you know, a little little vacation. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. Other than the throwing up and the crying, I was crying. I ain't gonna. I was crying. I ain't gonna lie. Shoot, I was crying. I was hot. I was out my clothes. Everything. I just. I ain't know what to do. I still remember that man. That was definitely an experience for local. Anyways, that's the video. My bad, y'all. <laughs> Although. I went back a couple years ago to like my old neighborhood. You know, I mostly like grew up in the nineties when I was like ripping and running and shit. Uh-huh. It's all um gentrified now, you know? So like they just cleaned up the streets. There's like new apartment buildings and so it's not the same as it used to be. Yeah. Yeah, Kensington is um I think it's like the worst place in the um in America, like drug users and stuff. They're like all doing fentanyl out there, which used to be heroin, but as well. Like, fentanyl is heroin? No, so like people that initially were on heroin or wanted to uh, shoot heroin, it's not even available anymore. So it's only fentanyl now, which is like super synthetic. Mm-hmm. And um, it's like $3 a bag. So like people are doing like tricks, like sexual favors. Three dollars a bag. Dang. About to say uh, cocaine about fifty dollars a gram. DDG fifty dollars a gram. Think about that. And you going to get some weed, but you got to pay fifty dollars a gram for on some co- cocaine just for a couple of lines, right? Crazy. But yeah, don't do drugs, y'all. <clears throat> it's a waste of money. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It's a waste of money. Like if if I ain't never told nobody nothing, I always tell people, don't drink, don't smoke. It's a waste of money. 
Like, even though I did it so much, well, I've been smoking for like um, the last past like 11 years, almost every single day, nonstop. I'm talking about every single day, nonstop. Like, I, I'm able to get bags for free. I can get pounds free. Uh, I'm able to smoke with people free, whatever. They, people don't care, right? I'm able to drink free. I can go to the store and get a bottle right now, right? Free. Everything free for me, right? But the thing is, like, just in general, the mental state, bro, between those 11 years, man, and all counting up all that money and all the, the rolling up and all the going from the store or going this place, that place, man, for me, myself, over 100000 right? And then I, I looked at the people that was doing it with me. I'm like, that's five or six people. That's 600000 That's over 600000 plus. I'm like, that's a million right there. I'm like, that's the million right there that me and my homies could have used to advance our life, businesses, anything could have been better, right? We could have put it into Bitcoin and went crazy, right? Straight to the moon, right? But instead, we sat there and did drugs and drink and sat there and wasted our time and life away. I promise y'all, bro, it's a waste, bro. Like, it's 4, it's 420 today, and I ain't even playing. It's a waste. It's a waste, bro. It's a waste of time. It's wasting energy. It messed up my muscles, you know, it messed up my, my, it messed up a lot of stuff, man, I ain't gonna lie. Don't get me wrong. As you, as you learn, you get wise, then you get it back in the gym, you get back into fitness, you get back outside, you get back, you get back into routine and stuff, right? Some people don't, though. Some people don't, though, and that's what I'm saying, y'all. Everybody ain't got a strong enough mind to be able to just cut it off cold turkey. I can cut stuff off cold turkey, just like I cut people off cold turkey. I mean, I delete your number, I block you, it's over with. You know what I mean? I can do that. A lot of people can't do that. A lot of people got a lot of people got a lot of different vices where they gotta keep going back, keep going back. They need more. They need more. I gotta get more. I gotta get more. It's 420. I gotta smoke. It's like me in my head. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Every day 420 for me. I'm always high, right? Like a high of life, just in general of being alive, right? But like I said, y'all, if y'all ain't take nothing from me, bro, don't smoke, don't drink. I promise you, you more lit sober. I promise you, you more lit sober. I promise you. You, you ain't got to worry about you losing your phone. You ain't got to worry about breaking your phone. You ain't worry about no fights. You ain't got to worry about no uh, nights that you don't remember. Cause a lot of y'all women know about that. You don't even know how you got home. See what I'm saying? What you did yesterday? What you ate yesterday? Some people don't even remember what they ate yesterday, what they did yesterday. What you did last week? Last Friday. What you eat last Friday for dinner? Some people can't even tell you what they ate because their memory is gone. And that's why I'm saying do not do them drugs, man. Do not smoke. Do not drink. Don't do none of that stuff. But to each his own, y'all. To each his own. Definitely live your life, though. You know what I'm saying? Live your life. Kinds of wild shit for like three dollar bags. Like it's really bad out there. That is bad, though. And <laughs> that is bad, though. <laughs> to party. Come on, baby. Nah. Are you taking the sexual favors? You giving three? I'm doing this. You in a relationship? No, I'm single. I'm getting in another relationship. Nope. Wow. Oh, these motherfuckers. <laughs> She low key don't feel like that though. I definitely feel like that. Well, everybody get lonely. Everybody. I, I'm not lonely. I'm very fulfilled. I have two boys that keep me very busy. I don't need no penis in my life. I don't need no headache. I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, what you doing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't getting no water now. Shot of beer. No, I'm so, I'm my, I need to wet my beak. Yeah, hey, bro. You need to wet your beak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go get some water. I'll be right back. Please. You want some? Here, go throw this away. Your real name, Gerald? Yeah, Gerald. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you guys enjoy the food or what? Yeah, it was good. The food was good. The quesadilla was actually really cheesy and good. Why is the camera sliding? More sturdy. Mm -hmm. I hate holding it to quesadilla. Just oh, that was like flimsy kind of? Yeah, like, it's like, it, it was tasty though, but I hate, like, bro, I'm supposed to eat this and it's falling and putting like, come on, bro. I feel you on that. I don't like that neither. That's why I don't like when Taco Bell uh, stuff get wet. I don't even want it no more. It's wet. I don't even want it no more. Yeah, my buddy go. I don't like flimsy, man. Tell them to, uh, they better grill that thing for me. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. I like it toasty. I don't want it all flimsy and all fall over the place. I don't, I don't like stuff that do that. I already know that means never mind. <laughs> I like my burritos dry. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
when it's too saucy and it's like all the beans and stuff. And yeah, it's too, uh, squishy. Squishy. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. I like the dry rice. See. Hey, she knows what's going on. Yeah, the dry rice. I don't like all that wet rice. I don't want no wet corn. I want it dry. I like the beans dry. She knows what's going on. Okay. Hey, Amber, you cool. Like, hey, she cool. How was your tacos? Was good? It was cool. Yeah. Cool. Good, man. You know, it's been a little better. <laughs> we would have made it better. I don't know. Maybe like a little saucier. Maybe that was bad on my part. Maybe I should have yeah, used that sauce. Nah, I used it. She said it was too hot. It's not too hot. Oh, no, it's not too hot. I was saying for the average person. Oh, it's good. It's not too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I, I really think. He like, shoot, I am the average person. He like, I ain't finna be in this thing sweating. <laughs> he like, shoot. I feel him, because my sister told me them noodles, them hot noodles, they be chewing y'all. People doing them, uh, she, she got a bunch of them downstairs. And she just be eating it. And she be good. So I was like, sure, I'm gonna give me some. She was like, it's hot. I was like, okay. I put a couple of drips. I ain't put that whole red packet in there. I put a couple of drips mixing around, man. It was so hot. I was like, I was just, I need some water. I was like, I was like, I don't know how you eat this. She's like, I told you it was hot. I was like, I need put the whole, I just put a, like two to three drips in there. I promise y'all to the point where when I made some noodles the other day, I didn't put none, none of that hot stuff in there at all. I put my own pepper and salt in there, whatever. I put my own oregano and all that stuff in there. I was like, I'm not even going to try it. It's too hot. I was like, man. I to keep blowing my nose. Uh-uh. You do that really, really good. It was cool. It was cool. All right. All right, everybody. That's it. Thank you, DDG, for doing this. Um, hope you have fun. And until next time. Thanks, Amber. Thanks, DDG. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Joseph. I think it's that. Uh, Uncle Jay? His name Joseph? Uh, I don't like messing up people's name. Oh, well, I didn't see this part. This part must have been played on the TV. They skipped it when we came um, to the video. Let me see this part before you I think I remember everybody's name. The brain fog is coming out, so I'm getting my memory back, right? Don't let me get my memory back. Y'all heard me. Don't let me get my memory back. I'll tell you that right now. I kind of hate when I get my memory back because then I remember how people did me wrong and dirty and I start getting mad at them over all over again. I'm like, hold on. What that? He did say that. Oh, heck. <laughs> See y'all in the next one, man. Never thanks for the video. What y'all got? Ooh, that train look good, boy. I don't know what they got over there, but that train look good. You gonna be peeing. They got little drinks, drinks. Okay, okay. Well, Amber a bit, dog. Uh, Amber a bit, dog. Uh. <laughs>